Following his Olympic defeat, Usain makes a decision that will change his life. He takes on a new trainer, Glenn Mills, then head coach of the Jamaican Olympic team. <laughs> Mills has molded dozens of Jamaica's finest sprinters. For Mills, there is only one focus, the Olympic Games in Beijing. He was recovering from a torn hamstring. The whole question of muscle strength and overall body weakness was some of the areas that we looked at. Well, he was young and inexperienced and didn't quite understand fully what it meant to be a professional athlete. If he was enthusiastic, he was determined to do well. But there are a number of things that we had to, you know, point out to him about this dedication to training, application, following up this, the little details. At six foot five and weighing 220 pounds, Usain is unusually tall for a sprinter. Mills forces him to concentrate on strength and speed, pushing Bolt's body to the limit in weight training sessions lasting one and a half hours, three times a week. The whole question of competitiveness against the top athletes in the world. He had to learn how to compete with them, not to be intimidated and that sort of thing. He has some very special qualities, both as a competitor and as a person. He has the ability to focus almost instantly. He doesn't have difficulty in understanding and assimilating the coaching instructions. And he learns very fast. Coach, go 40, 40, 30. 40, 30, must do it. 40, 40. All right. Not one distance. He's not the workaholic, but he will work hard if he finds himself in a situation where it is necessary. Like if he suffers a setback and he has to train twice a day, he'll make the effort. Yes, we can. Imagine me, a black president, man. The fastest black president. <laughs> We train on the grass track, and then we go on the chevron. You can't train on the chevron 24 seven days. You start have shin, shin problems because it's so hard, so. He has to battle with his love for um, having a good time, parties, etc., and his consistency of needing to train hard um, over at a nine-month period, and sometimes he doesn't get it right, and it puts a lot of pressure on him to pick himself up and get back to the level where he needs to be. We have great respect and love for each other. Um, he respects me as his coach and mentor, and, you know, he expresses his gratitude and, and so on, and we have a good understanding.